Hi guys, thanks for choosing to watch my video, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a poster like this. If you are a beginner or already know just watch my video carefully it can help you somewhat, if you have trouble watching my video, you can comment or send me a private message, I will try to support you. The first is the creation of the file, the size, and the parameters you can see on the screen. The pictures for the poster I prepared before, if you want to get it, I'll leave a link to download in the video description. You can use the Ctrl T shortcut to scale the image as you like, but first convert the layer like I did, it will fix the quality of the pixel when you operate on the layers, this is a very important operation in the design. I'm going to use shortcuts a lot because that makes it faster, and I also recommend that you use them. If you don't catch up, slow down the video. You guys use solid color to create a background like this. Look at my operation, choose the color you think it'll fit. Click OK. I'm going to add something like a fan and a little light to the background to get a deeper look at the poster. The next step is to use mixing for this photo, try some options and use the right one. Create a layer mask and use a black brush to embed the parts you want it to disappear, and you can use a white brush in order to make it appear again, it's much better than when you use the Photoshop deletion tool. It's very important, too. It happens in almost every product in this design industry, I assure you. I'm using hue saturation to change the color of anything I want. You guys look at this, it's going to be the manipulation I've been using throughout this poster. For the same photo, I use hue saturation to change its color, and let's use the Gaussian blur tool to dim it a little bit, like this. Reduce its opacity a little bit, and to create a layer of light below you choose a new layer that uses brush to create light like this. Create a cover at the bottom of the poster, we'll write the content in here so you need it darkened, you can use the brush tool to choose the color you want, that's easy. I think I need to make a little change about these parts. I'll share this picture with you if you like, just adding it and using saturation to change its color just like the previous steps I've done, adding a little blurry is making it look better.
You guys click on the character layer and open the raw camera board. Camera Raw is a very useful tool when you want to sharpen an audience. I've always used it in all my previous products, it's really good. I feel my laptop's not working well so I think it's better to turn off some and use things. Use a layer mask to remove the unused parts so they don't get fake. I need to change some things to make it look more perfect. I hope it's really fine. As for the text, there's nothing complicated to explain, please see how I do it, if you don't know where to comment on the video below, I'll explain it to you. I think it'll be a little more beautiful if it's blurred, and depending on how you feel, I'm not sure.
And finally, what I always do is create an overall layer by pressing the Ctrl Shift Alt E key combination. I use it to edit the color for the last time, it's easier than you adjust each layer. At this step will depend on the sensation that changes the parameters you can refer to me or do it yourself at your discretion. And don't forget to like and CMT tell me if you like this tutorial of mine, the channel I'm very few people know about so I'm very grateful because you chose to watch my video and watch to the end like this, in the video will appear ads that will sometimes annoy you, I apologize for that but the ads also help me have a little budget to maintain the channel. I hope you understand.